Richard Dawkins has been deplatformed and canceled. Why? Um, for his criticism of Islam. Wait, so these people didn't know before inviting him that he criticized Islam? Like, bef- like how is that? Was that news to them? <laughs> In the statement that I read, the person like openly said, "I just looked at his Wikipedia page. I wasn't familiar with all this." Okay, so who who are the, what? Okay, give me give, give me the background. Who are these people? Why? How did they not know who Richard Dawkins is? And even if they didn't know, how, why did they invite him? Is this like this is a university, right? Um. Yes. So it's the College Historical Society, which is like a very famous old um, speech and debate uh, organization society. Uh, short name is the hist the nickname um they uninvited him after it was brought to their attention um his criticism of islam and um uh yeah his unaware of his opinions on islam and sexual assault wait and, what, what, sexual assault what what, you, what what is that referring to i don't actually know hmm um okay how could a university not know who richard dawkins like that the the fact that richard dawkins was like openly against all religions including islam how could they not know that i mean and then why did they invite like they why did they invite him without even to speak without even checking his checking his video, wikipedia page like that's the amount of research that they had to do to decide like yeah we don't like this guy I mean, no, no, no. I, they, well, if I'm remembering correctly, they were hmm. talking about how that's how they, the person who was doing the um, the auditing, the auditor hmm. of the hist, a uh, Brid O'Donnell, announced the cancellation, and basically said, "Oh, I had only reviewed his Wikipedia page, but then other people brought to my attention uh, the criticisms uh, of Islam and his." opinions on sexual assault but okay. this article gets into it do you want to read it um yeah so oh. uh, he was scheduled to speak to the society next year they schedule big name speeches every year um and this is a really old society like they had oscar wilde they've had winston churchill they've had desmond tutu like this is the level of speakers wow. that this um society uh works with right Mm, mm. um controversial figures throughout history right Mm. um but this is too much i guess um (laughs) or they've gone soft um so auditor of the hist bird that's probably not how you say o'donnell announced the cancellation in a statement on her instagram page saying that she was had been quote, unaware of Richard Richard Dawkins' opinions on Islam and sexual assault until this evening, adding that the society will not be moving ahead with his address as we value our members' comfort above all else. So that's what triggered me about this is, oh, thank you, Munster, for the same thing, Uh, is saying that we value their comfort above everything else. Above everything else, um, above all else, like hasn't isn't this like oh like this is haven't we gotten over this? I thought this was like this whole accusations of Islamophobia and people getting butt hurt over uh, being anti-Islam. Uh, this is so like what, what year was this? Was this like because I thought like most most academic institutions have moved past that and now realize that they're morons. For like he's also anti Christianity. Is is that not an issue for them? No, not based so on his, these statements. Hmm. I mean, this is like I thought we have moved past this. I think hmm. you've had the benefit of being in very specific circles where the conversation in the circles that you've been in has long since moved past the distinction hmm. or misnomer that is Islamophobia. Yeah, Arjun but is saying a lot of people aren't there. 
Yeah, so 2015. So, yeah. Yeah, 2015. That's yeah. I was looking for a year. Yeah. Thank you, Arjun. That's exactly. Yeah, and also Mortad Skeptic was he was asking, um, why is his opinion on Islam the one that causes the cancellation? Well, they yes. also made some allusion to well, it was opinions on Islam and sexual assault. Um. Katie Ren is saying what sexual assault advocating for, for women not being forced into hijab. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what is that talking about. What, do you have any idea what that is referring to? Like nobody mentions. I'm completely unfamiliar with that. So if someone has um, is more familiar with what that's referring to, please let me know because um, I'm curious. Um, so we'll, I'll read a little bit more. Um, the invitation to Richard Dawkins to speak at the society was made by my predecessor, and I followed up on the invitation with limited knowledge of Mr. Dawkins, O'Donnell said. I had read his Wikipedia page and researched him briefly. Regretfully, I didn't look further into him before moving forward with the invitation. So that's mm. what I was referring to. Mm. Um and then I want to thank everyone who pointed out this valuable information to me. I truly hope we didn't cause too much discomfort. And if so, I apologize and will rectify it. He hadn't wow. even spoken yet. It was and for next year. Apologizing for the discomfort. Apologizing for the discomfort of considering like inviting him, even though we disinvited him because we don't like because you guys this is you know what? You know what I want? You know what I want? I want some Muslims to come and say, you know why? Yeah, this is very insulting. And they like apologize. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Like, no, 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 no. Not inviting Dawkins. You thinking that we're so sensitive, like we can't that we can't um have somebody that disagrees with our view. You not having them because you think like we're like children. You you you're treating us like children, and we think you are uh, insulting us by thinking that we can't handle well, a speaker. Like if Mo I want Muslims to come forward and say like you are being insulting to us. That's what you need to apologize for. Well, um, I mean I I agree that'd be cool to see. But to be fair, this was not in defense of Muslims specifically. This was oh. for the discomfort of the speech the speech society's members. That's who hmm. she was trying to prevent the discomfort of. Hmm. Not why well, what what discomfort would this cause? Has cause? Um I think she's intimating that he is a bigot and misogynist. Hmm. And therefore, platforming deplorable views, presumably. Um, that's the way that I took what was inferred. Mm. Um, continuing, Dawkins is a famous author and academic known for his books on evolution, such as The Selfish Gene, published in 1976, which is credited with bringing a gene-centered view of evolution into the public sphere. As a staunch atheist, Dawkins is also known for his controversial criticisms of religion. He has come under fire in the past for his comments on Muslim faith schools, saying that they had a pernicious influence. This came after the Muslim Council of Britain said it was unreasonable to expect schools not to teach fundamental theories of faith. Even if those fundamental theories of faith are antithetical to what is understood to be objective reality, which is where Dawkins' criticisms come in. Because he wants hmm. these children to be prepared for life. Yeah. Um, By the way, you know that Christians love this because Christians are like, look, um, look how, you know, we don't cancel people even though you're anti Christian. And they use this to say, like, look how sensitive. You know, you know, like I mean, look look how unfair things are towards Christian Christians, right? Like these people never get cast. These people are so openly anti Christianity as well, mm -hmm. and they don't. Nobody finds that to be a problem, but they get deplatformed for being anti Islam. So that's that feeds into the Christians use this for two to show like how everything is unfair against Christians, but also to show like look how tolerant we are. We don't do what the Muslims are doing. We don't go and deplatform you from from your speaking engagements because you're anti Christian. So yeah, so this works for them. But go on. 
I mean, because it's operating off of the presumption that Muslims are minorities everywhere. That's kind of where that mentality comes in, I think. And it's just obviously, frankly, objectively yeah. not true. Yeah, Muslims are the minority group everywhere in the world. I mean, technically, they are now in Iran. <laughs> so I don't uh, know. <laughs> but, no, but this according to recent it. data, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, my God. No, Mal but they are in power, like, in many places mm -hmm. in the world. Like, they are the oppressors in the many places in the world. So Yeah, and I mean, um, it's the world's second largest religion. Yeah, and even if they weren't, it's still crappy ideas, right? Yeah. Yeah, soon um, to be the soon to be the world's largest religion, maybe mm -hmm. if if we can't. Actually, we I don't know anymore because the conver the deconversion rate is in growing. So we'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well. Yeah. That, that's a different discussion. Um. So this is not the first time the Hist, as the society is nicknamed, has landed in hot water over invitations to speakers. In 2018, former auditor of the HIST, Paul Mol Malloy, came under fire for members of the Society's Committee over inviting Nigel Farage to address the Society. In a statement posted in the HIST Facebook group at the time, Malloy said, quote, The Society plays host to numerous individuals of divergent views, many of which our members feel strongly and passionately about. This is the nature of free inquiry in a democratic society. It is by that inquiry, uh, the strength of ideas and the validity of beliefs are challenged and upheld. I think this is something you and I both would very much agree with. Mm -hmm. um, we recognize, however, that many of these individuals hold controversial and unorthodox views, but ultimately we must recognize that they are figures uh, who are in the public discourse. Um, so scroll down. In an open letter to members, 23 ordinary members, including three former auditors of the College Historical Society, aka the HIST, condemned the move to invite Nigel Farage to speak. Malloy later backtracked, saying, it was wrong of me to extend an invitation to Nigel Farage in the manner with which I did. I offer my sincerest apologies for any offense which has been caused from um, Ms. Hist subsequently decided not to confer the society's gold member of outstanding contribution to public discourse on Farage. In an email statement to the University Times, O'Donnell said, I was not pre, so this is going back to the current issue, I was not previously aware of the harmful statements made by Richard Dawkins. The invitation was issued in advance of this committee's tenure, and we are deeply grateful to the members and students who brought this to our attention. And then here's where I get heated again. <laughs> mm -hmm. The comfort of our membership is paramount. And we will not be proceeding with Professor Dawkins' address. I apologize for any distress caused by this announcement. <sighs> yeah, exactly. We're both getting so upset. Oh, my God. Where's the <laughs> ambulance? Oh, man. My feelings were at, oh, We're so distressed. I need years of psychotherapy. And I'm, oh, my God. Imagine, <laughs> like, imagine going to your therapist and I'm going to cry. What happened today? Oh, our organization invited a speaker that I do not like. I don't know if I could ever recover from this. Doc, save me. <laughs> <laughs> What the uh, stress? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Who I are these babies? <laughs> Who are these babies? Oh my god. Like somebody just like locked them up in their room because they can't handle like these people are not these people are not ready to like face the world. Like mm -hmm. imagine like if they if this causes them the stress, like seriously, like wrap them up in like some bubble wrapping or something, like because like they're gonna get like they're gonna get seriously hurt by if oh my god how have they survived the world till now how did how have these people managed to reach adulthood <laughs> like how how are they still alive given that this causes them distress like the, yeah oh my god imagine if these people were like like somewhere else like throw them mm -hmm. in Yemen or something like mm -hmm. they would like no, they will not survive a week. They went to my cause... 24 hours. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Um, All right. Yeah. 
Okay, so I apologize for any distress caused by this announcement. Just the announcement itself. And the HIST mm -hmm. will continue to listen and adapt to the needs and comfort of students, she added. Oh, so, oh my God. So this is from the HIST, one of Trinity's two debating societies, and it is the oldest student society in the world having been founded in 1770. Okay. So, like, I, I really can't stand this promotion of safetyism. Mm. Um, it's, it's intellectually crippling. It's infantilizing. Um, if, if what he puts forward is so supposedly harmful, I would suggest maybe inviting a speaker after him that would counter what he said. Mm. I find it hilarious that there is a big official sign on the side of the Trinity College Pierce Street near the Science Gallery that reads, quote, disruptors and innovators well. Well. <laughs> this, say that again. Your audio got cut right before you read this. Disruptors, disruptors and... and innovators welcome. Hmm. And then they say, well, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> yeah. And that's what the university yeah. is meant to be about, particularly humanities. Hmm. Um, humanities without robust debate is a waste of taxpayers' money. I could agree. Um, the hiss should be wrapped up. Their former auditor, Michael Coleman, got into some controversy a few years ago for allowing sexism to run rampant in the hist, apparently. And yet he spearheads a move to make the current auditor drop the invitation to Hawkins. The entire society doesn't sound fit for purpose, and it's an embarrassment that there was such a prominent it has such a prominent billing in Trinity. All right. So what I like about this is that this is not like in a free speech, like these comments and a lot of comments are like that here. Okay. But this is not, this is these re reactions. It's not like in a Reddit, a subreddit that is about free speech or a atheism subreddit. Like it's not a pro Richard Dawkins, but you know, subreddit, this is just mm -hmm. our Ireland. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the kind of reactions that you get. Um, like this is the second top comment. Right. And these are the most upvoted comments. Yeah, right? I couldn't find anything of him um, making a statement on this mm -hmm. on. Um, uh, oh, wait. Um, he retweeted something, a video of Gad Sad giving his take on the situation. Gad Sad put out a video called The Deplatforming of Richard Dawkins. And then mm -hmm. Richard Dawkins retweeted that video and said, um, Trinity Dublin is an educational institution of high distinction. It would be unfair to condemn this ancient college because of the sheep-like conformity of one rather foolish individual that seems to have no understanding of what a university is for. Good, good. I like that. Um, no, but the main point I wanted to make with regards to these top comments um, on the subreddit is that these are like mainstream reaction to it is like this is insane. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, the, look, this is the third top comment. The no platforming mania comes to Ireland. Very sad. If I was a student, I would feel insulted by the suggestion that I am too de delicate to withstand hearing an opinion that differed from the one I was allowed to have, right? Um, again, this is on a subreddit, subreddit that has nothing to do with free speech, nothing to do with a a like being pro Richard Dawkins, atheism, or anything like that, right? Anti-Islam, and this is what the main responses of people are, right? So it gives me hope that so, like, a lot of people in the live chat are saying, like, there was objective reality also saying this is so 2016. I think it was objective reality who said that, right? But mm -hmm. other people were saying, like, this, what the hell? Like, is this still happening? Have we, like, why is this still happening? But, again, I do think, like, I... Ooh, if go you look down. At the, hmm. There's a good comment. Scroll a little farther down. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, shoot, I lost it. 
Yeah. Basically, it was someone saying that, oh yeah, wait, right here. B the Bloody Mummers says, you can see the bind. She probably assumed he only ridiculed Christianity, which is like totally fair game, and then found out he had been critical of other religions too, which is just like not on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these are just random, just no normal people, right? So th I like I like how this is the reaction that, the that we get. So I think this is the, this reaction is what's different from 2015, 2016. Like, this is the majority of the reaction. So let's and be a little bit hopeful, right? It's so weird because he's not even, like, he's he's a lib. He's a hardcore yeah. lib. Right. <laughs> like, he's, they, they're acting like but, he's um, but, <laughs> really. But, that, but yeah. even if he was, like, okay, let's, even like, let's be. Even if he was right. extreme far righty right i would be interesting to see no. that speech no the main thing i'm trying to uh, correct is not that if he was far right is okay and what i was trying to say is like we have to be careful because right wing doesn't mean far right so we have yes. to, that's what yes no but i was taking it to the extreme 